What up, YouTube? It's your boy Hustle Q, man. Back with another video. I'm coming at you sort of like sideways. I don't know. But anyway, so check this out. What I got right here is a box that was returned from me. If you guys saw my other videos, you'll see, you'll remember when I was comparing the pictures. Um, this is an Odell Beckham figure. I believe it is. Yes. And I compared the pictures, what my pictures look like when I list it, compared to what the buyer sent me saying that it was broken. It looked like two different figures. I think he was trying to switch it on me. I don't know. We're going to see. I feel that he was. If you guys saw my videos, you, I mean, you wouldn't. It looked very different. Anyway, I got the box in today. It's nothing open on the box. Have not opened it yet. I want to film this video. And I'm going to tell you, man, this went all the way to, um, I want to say maybe Texas or so, or Virginia, Florida. Anyway, it went all the way there. And the box is really good condition. That shows you I got some good shipping skills, man. So anyway, look, man. Let's go in. Let's open up this. I want to do this video for the year end. We're going to open up this. And then when I got the box, man, it looked like stuff was moving all around up in there, man. I don't know. All I know is if you look at my reviews, I mean, my shipping speaks for itself. I ain't trying to brag or nothing, but I make sure I pack everything. I mean, you go to my eBay page and you look under my reviews, I'm at 100%. And majority of all my reviews is great sh packing and great shipping and stuff like that, man. I'm just saying, dude, you know. I mean, I know we all, I mean, I do I do what I can, man. But anyway, I'm going to open this up. I already contacted eBay about this situation. I told them I don't feel that it's mine. So they just said, you know, let us know when you get it and we'll go from there. So I'm about to open it up, man. Got my green wrap. Okay, so look. Here it is right here. I haven't even looked at it. We're going to see. Wow, look at that. Wow. Okay, so there's a packing slip inside. Now, this could be mine. And maybe it did break. I don't know. Maybe it did break. Bubble wrap, stuff I can reuse. Maybe it did break. I mean, I mean it looks like my box. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it 100 with me. Looks like my box. This is the empty box. We're going to throw that out. Now, I'm looking at it. Um, seems that, it seems this right here is pushed in. So, now, I'm just trying to, basically, I'm in a court of law. This is how it was. No, no matter, this thing set flat. So, no matter how, if it was facing downward or upward, this is the original box, and if you look, there is no dents pushing into the box on either side, okay? This thing right here, it was put inside a poly bag, which he uh, probably ripped open and sold to open it up. Now, here's the situation. I see that it is pushed in. It is pushed in, which could have caused someone to break that. But this is also, with the outer plastic, this is also protected uh, with another plastic inside. So it's all protected. So anyway, I'm looking at it. And there's only one thing to do. We have to open it up. Now, here's the thing, though. Okay. I see two pieces running around up in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. That's what we got to do. It's only one way to find out. We're going to see if he switched it on me or it's my product. Maybe he opened it up and dropped it or something. Or maybe it just came like that. I don't know, man. I got to see, man. Before I send any type of refund, I have to see whose product is it. Okay, so first of all, the first thing I notice is this opening right here. I don't have an opening right here. I opened up this when I first got it. I don't remember any opening right here um, getting to his head. I don't remember none of that opening um, as far as I can remember. Okay, so anyway, let's open it up. See what we got. I see the two pieces hanging down. Um, like I said, this could be my box. He could have just switched it out. I don't know, but let's find out. And as you guys can see, as I was explaining to you guys, here are the missing, here are the parts. So here's the thing though. Here's the thing. These two parts, these are the par part of the arm. They were on the outer part of the protected plastic that's inside the figure or the figures inside of a protected plastic on top of this plastic. If that makes sense to you guys, here are the parts that are broken off that was actually set inside here. Hmm. Okay. 
So that's funny. Look, oh man, it's broken underneath here. Yeah, see, right away, this ain't my plastic. I'm gonna tell you that now. Then we're gonna look underneath here. He's got the same plaque that I have. It is the same plaque. Let's open it up, man. Let's see. Let's see what Odell Beckham looked like. I don't know, man. I feel like this ain't my plastic. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I just had a memory loss. Okay. Now, my lighting is bad in here. Okay. Now, right here is where I see the smudge marks. Um, on my photos, I don't have a smudge mark. That's all I'm saying. If you guys saw my photos before... I don't have a smudge mark right here. This is, hell, I almost thought it was a signature. Um, the thing is, oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. The leg is about to break off. That's one. Um, looking at the bottom of this, looks like he glued it on top. I mean, I have to verify this. It's 258, but the whole thing's about to fall apart. Um, it looks like it's got glued. It look and, and look, the glue looks fresh. The glue looks really fresh. He, I do see some chip marks on here, on the neck part. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think it's mine. Don't think this is mine at all. Um, I think he switched it. That's all I can say. I really think he switched it on me. The whole thing's about to break off. This is like complete. This is complete trash right here. This is all complete trash. It sucks when people try to get over on you, man. And it sucks, man. But anyway, there's the smudge marks right here on the sock. This is one of my main proof. If you look at mines, I have a picture of the sock area. There's no smudge marks. This whole foot is chopped off and glued on. Um, I don't know what he was thinking. Um, right here, you can't really tell, man. But the glue looks fresh. I can still stick my finger into the glue. That he just did this, man. Uh, wow, dude. Like, I don't get it, man. On the neck area, I do have to check my pictures. You guys probably can't see it, but there's smudge marks right here in the neck area. Um, the teeth is different from my pictures I show. But right here, man, the whole leg is about to come off. This whole leg is about to come off. Everything is about to come off. And the crazy part is, when this guy... Excuse me, I'm going to be all up in the camera. When this guy... um he emailed me, he messaged me on um, Facebook, I mean, um, ah, eBay, and he asked to see this, to see what number it was. Probably he was trying to match his number. But here's the thing, though. I took this whole package out of the box just to see that number. My plastic was not damaged like this. This is all damaged. Mine wasn't damaged. Here's the thing, though. If it was damaged, I am really good about putting this in the description if the plastic was damaged. It was only wear around the box. This does look like my box. Then again, it couldn't be. I, I really don't know about the box area. Um, they're all the same. I don't know. But this all down Beckham. Nah, this is not my figure. I'm going a, I'm to a take my side. This is fresh glue. I mean, guys. I mean, this is ridiculous, dude. Like, damn. Look, it's falling off. Yeah. This guy's something else, man. He glued the damn leg back on. The leg is broken off. He glued it back on. I took this whole figure off. Took it out of the box just so he can see the back and send him a picture of it. And that was probably my bad right there. Other than that, this is not mine. Piece of the hand, arm right here, dude. I mean, like, come on, guys. This is what we do, I guess. Trying to get over, man. Trying to get over. So we're going to see what eBay says and go from there. Like I said, the glue is like fresh glue on there it's not even glued all the way i mean being a, being an nfl licensed thing this is real sloppy this is real sloppy and far as the leg everything's coming out smudge marks right here man come on dude this ain't mine and he's got you can barely see it but there's little chips right here and on mine i don't have any chips but we'll see what ebay says man i'm either gonna be out money or Maybe they'll refund him, man. Let me keep my money. We'll see. Other than that, man, it ain't right, dude. It ain't right. But I guess that's just how people are. Anyway, man. Guy's trying to get me for my paper. Well, 
Open it up, man. That's it. So recap. This plastic is broken. Now he miss it. He messaged in his thing that he never opened it up. He just actually opened up the brown box, the main box, and he never opened up this. He never opened it up, and he see that it was damaged. Now, with this being pushed in, it's almost understandable. But there's a plastic. Hold on, my light turned off. Excuse me, one sec. All right, man. Got to save energy. Um, there is a plastic around this, which protects it as well. Um, so if this right here, the arm and everything, if he would have said, yeah, it broke off. Okay. It could be understandable. It can happen. I understand it can happen. But when it comes down to right here with the socks, the smudge marks, but on my picture, I have no smudge marks. And according to him, he never opened it, right? I have no smudge mark. The leg has been cut off in half. Okay, I would have noticed that. I would have put that in my description. I'm not going to try to sneak something by and take a risk and get a return and a bad review. Come on. I mean, I had orders. I had an order the other day when um, I picked the order and somehow the box got damaged. And it was probably when I dropped it one day or I don't know. But I messaged the guy because it wasn't in my description. I messaged him. And I said, hey, man, just to give you a heads up, there's damage to the box. Here's a picture of it. Sorry, it's not in the description. So I just want you to make aware of it if you still want to accept it or not. You know, and he said, nah, you know what? Thank you for being on. Gave me good feedback. We canceled that order. He ordered another one, but he gave me feedback on it. And just telling me, say, I appreciate your honesty. I'm not, dude, I've been doing this for too long to try to cheat people, man. This is a business. This is a business I'm running that I'm in. And I'm not going to risk for anything, dude. I don't care how much it costs, man. I'm not going to. Dude, I canceled so many orders during Christmas time because of um, the different addresses. You know, I was getting a lot of orders coming from Mexico and every order that was coming about 90% of the orders that was coming from Mexico were had a change of address. And I canceled the order right away because eBay is not going to protect me because all I can sit there and see is someone didn't get their stuff or a credit card stuff. I don't take chances like that. It's not worth it. I canceled 40, 50, 60 dollar orders, you know, because of the address was wrong. I'm not going to take a chance like that. It's not worth it to me because in the long run, I'm going to get caught with it, man. And it, I'm going to lose at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So I don't take chances with it. So with something like this, I'm not going to take a chance with it. I'm not. It's not worth it. This dude, in my, my situation, my theory, he cut the leg off trying to be smart with it. And he probably messed up the original figure even worse than his figure. This is not my figure. This is not my figure, man. This is not mine. He's, look, he's, he's like, man, I don't know what to do. I'm just here. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, this guy, I mean, the glue. I wish you guys can really see the glue on here, man. I don't know if you guys can, like, see the glue. If you guys can see that glue, man, that's sloppy, dude. This is stuff I would have inspected because I took this off to look at it the very first time. The second time, I took it off to look at this number to see which number this was made. Um, that smudge mark, this I would have noticed that right away because it sticks out like a sore thumb. The glue, I would have looked at it with a magnifying glass to see what the hell is going on with that. It is what it is, man. Um, so I'm going to contact eBay. I'll let you guys know in the next video. Or maybe at the end of this video. We'll see. Peace. Oh, man. Hey, subscribe. You know what to do.